oh no, I am out of glue. What can I do? I know I can make my own glue. To make the glue, we'll need milk. In this case, we're using low-fat milk, vinegar, baking soda, a measuring cup, a pot, a bowl, measuring spoons, and a strainer. Measure out half cup of milk. and pour it into a pot. Heat the milk for one and a half minutes. Add vinegar until the curds and whey separate. After adding the vinegar, let the milk cool. Sieve out the curds and whey. Add baking soda. Mix well. Cover the bowl with cling film. And refrigerate. For the experiment, we applied the glue to a 60 square centimeter area. Creating glue with milk. In this experiment, we'll be using homogenized milk, which consists primarily of fat, casein, and sugar. Proteins are generally unstable and are prone to unfolding, which changes the natural state of the protein. This process is called denaturing and is what forms the glue. Casein in milk denatures from its native tertiary structure, fully folded, to its primary structure, long chain of amino acids, when it is subjected to a weak acid. As these long chains cool, they start to reform chemical interactions with other amino acid chains. Continued presence of acid prevents these amino acid chains from reforming the casein protein. Thus, curd-like clumps of amino acids are formed instead. The addition of acid, in this case vinegar, causes the casein protein to unfold and rearrange into the long chains of a polymer. Heat merely serves as a catalyst in this experiment. Casein is precipitated out of the milk as curd. After the separation, a baking soda and water is added to achieve a glue consistency. When the curd dries, it forms a hard plastic-like protein substance which can act as an adhesive. We conducted the experiment with three different types of milk. No fat, skimmed and full cream milk. As you can see from the results, full cream milk could support the most weight as it has the most protein. Yes, with the help of homemade glue, I have successfully completed my project. Time to go to sleep.